it's hard not to get serious and dig into the weeds of just what happened with the Super League fiasco. We're lucky here to be joined by some of the biggest names in the game outside Anfield. And we're going to start with an absolute legend of Liverpool and Steven Gerrard, who joins us from Anfield. Thanks very much, Stephen, for your time. We'd love to just know your thoughts on the week and how you feel about it all. Yeah, of course. Look, uh, it's a, it was a big surprise at uh, what they were doing. Um, look, I, I thought it was a really good idea, uh, to be fair. Uh, we've been doing it in Scotland for a long time. Um, ten teams, um, no relegation and guaranteed a trophy at the end of the season. So, um, look, um, we want to join. Um, we want to join the Premier League. Uh, we really do. Uh, I think we do really well. Um, I think we'd finish in the top 18, um, and I think we'd we'd definitely win. We definitely win a lot of games, and I get the Liverpool job at the end of it. So yeah, of course, it's exciting. I imagine it'd be difficult out there as well, given the unrest outside the stadium and yourself being a club legend. It seems remarkable to us that fans aren't coming up to you. How do you become or stay inconspicuous outside the stadium these days? Yeah, it's very difficult. Um, look, I'm, I'm, I'm here every day, to be fair, just waiting for Jürgen to, to get on his bike so I can take his job. Um, <laughs> so hopefully that'll come soon. Um, but the fans aren't on to me because, as you can see, I've put about 20 stone on um, since I retired. Uh, so, um, But um, hopefully I'll be back uh, full-time here soon. So, yeah, of course, it's exciting. Mm. Boys, it was phenomenal this week to obviously get the thoughts of, we know, Gary Neville and also Jamie Carragher, so incredibly vocal. Monday Night Football on Sky, fantastic to watch. And it's great for us, by the way, to have Jamie Carragher now join us outside of Anfield. Jamie, fantastic performance from yourself earlier in the week. Congratulations on the role you played in squashing the Super League. How are you feeling now heading into this game tonight? Well, of course, I'm feeling, feeling confident now, but I think this, this, this week's been absolutely crazy. What people were talking about. And I was shocked. I was shocked by what got said about the Super League. And what I found the most shocking. Who invited Tottenham? Who invited Tottenham? Absolute joke. <laughs> I can't, can't believe they were right in the first place. Tottenham and Arsenal. I just can see Arsenal last night. What was all that about? They're not top six. They're not top 16. <laughs> I haven't got a, a joke, but the Super League's gone now. Me and Gary Neville have sorted that, so... Mm. <laughs> well, you mentioned your colleague in Gary Neville. He's got a lot of the plaudits for seeing the Super League uh, squash this week. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't really care about Gary Neville. I'm not here to talk about Gary Neville. I'm here to talk about myself being the, the top pundit. So I try and avoid Gary Neville if I can, to be fair. So I really don't care. So don't ask me any more questions about Gary Neville. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's uh, ended a little bit awkwardly there with uh, Jamie uh, Carragher. Liverpool great. From a Liverpool great to a former Reds boss, it's fantastic to have Rafa Benitez join us. Of course, former Newcastle manager as well. Uh, Rafa, from a distance, what did you make of how this week unfolded? Yeah, I was uh, surprised. I was surprised because, yeah, you know that uh, sometimes uh, the people, they work very hard to try to, to do something for the, the Super League. They tried so. Because see that the the people of the club, the fans of the club, were fantastic. So they were like, no, it's not happened. So yeah, you can see that was okay. So yeah, again, we know that it was not a good idea. So yeah, everyone was proud. The people was proud for the Tic Tacs was okay. <laughs> Thanks for that, Rafa. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got uh, one of the great players in the Premier League at the moment, gents. It's a huge honour for us. And particularly given at the moment, he's one of the injury doubts heading into the League Cup final this weekend. Harry Kane joins us live. He's there to spectate and watch Liverpool and Newcastle. Harry, first of all, we'd love to know, how are you faring fitness-wise heading into the League Cup final? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, at the minute, it's uh, quite difficult. I'm trying my best to get myself fit. Uh, for the final, it's a, it's a gig, you know. I'm 35 now, and uh, it'd be a great opportunity to win the Coca-Cola Cup. Just being one of the best strikers in the world, and um, yeah, hopefully, uh, if we do get beat, I will get my wish to leave uh, and go to a bigger club. 
like um, East Fife or um, you know uh, Hereford or somewhere like that. So yeah, it's uh, I don't I probably hope we lose because uh, then I'll get my move. I just want freedom. I just want to go to a place where I can feel free and happy. So a place like Alcatraz or something like that. You know, uh, yeah, obviously it's exciting. Yeah. Bridgie yeah. is a massive Spurs fan. It must be an honour to be on the same TV show as Harry Kane. I just want to say to Harry Kane, uh, mate, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Harry, you've talked about leaving. Is it true that if we don't finish top four, you will be gone? Yeah, obviously. Um, I appreciate the question, pal. Uh, but, you know, look, um, I've, I've been stuck here in prison, uh, sorry, at Spurs for a long time, <laughs> and it's time for me to move on. Uh, Daniel Levy... He's got me on a 400-year contract, so it's quite difficult to get out of there. And, you know, I'll try my best to, to leave. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's quite depressing at the minute, but hopefully I will get to move to that bigger club. East Fife, here I come, yeah, obviously. <laughs> well, from one club in East Fife and to another of a similar stature, Norwich City, as we know, coming up once again to the Premier League for the 37th time in their history. And we've got their manager, Daniel Farker, joining us. Daniel, we'd love to be having some reaction from you on the celebrations over the past couple of weeks for the Canaries. Yes, of course, it's so exciting for the Canaries at Carroll World, Norwich City. It's a great exciting, of course, to be back in the Premier League. It's, it's so exciting, Dealey is so happy, and we, of course, are so exciting <laughs> uh, for yeah. me. And we really, really wanted the Super League to happen because if this happens, then, of course, then we will have 99.999% of being relegated. That would be much better, of course. It would be great, exciting. But for me, it's, we have to try our very best this season. We're going to spend a big transfer budget of 57 pence, and if we can spend that on good players to try to compete in the Premier League, we're so excited the Premier League. I'm excited. The Canadians, the Kell World, North City and Delia will be so happy. We tonight we celebrate. If we win the, the championship, we celebrate with a large portion of my big German sausage because, of course, we are very hungry and that would be so nice for the Premier League, for Delia, for everyone like this. <laughs> what kind of assurances uh, has Delia made about, you know, maybe spending and also staying in the Premier League uh, next time around? Because that's never really happened before, has it? Yes, of course, you know, I spoke to Delia, I said to Delia, look, we have to spend money, of course, I need a big transfer budget and what we can have, I need more dough, I say I need more dough, but for some reason she gives me a loaf of her Delia Smith special bread, luxury bread, so <laughs> it was, I don't understand this, but we, we, we need to have investment in this team because we need better players, because of course, for us to compete with the likes of Manchester, Manchester Spurs and, and New, Newcastle City, we have to be on their best in the season, so exciting, Delia has promised me a lot of exciting times the season can and Kel Wood, okay. <laughs> well, speaking of Newcastle City, it's fantastic to have Steve Bruce uh, join us with the game uh, about an hour or so away. It's fantastic. It's pretty weird to think he would walk outside the stadium to chat to us, an Australian broadcaster. But Steve, uh, what an honour. Tell us, how will you celebrate this one tonight if you can get the points against the Reds in a place you haven't won at for such a long time? Well, you know, look, buddy, you know, we know it's a very important game. We've got to do what we've got to do. And today, you know, we know it's a very tough team. Like, uh, we're playing against Liverpool. And uh, we got beat last week by Liverpool, um, under 11s, actually. Um, <laughs> I was a ladies five-a-side team. It was quite a difficult game. But today we're coming up with some very good tactics, boys. We've got some very good tactics. Up front, Carol and Gail, two lovely girls who work in the canteen. A brilliant, lightning pace, Gail and uh, we'll hopefully get the right result. But Joe Linton's been on fire in training, on fire. Two yards out, open goal, put a great cross in. It's, it's going really well, and we're delighted. I think, I think we'll only concede seven today, boys. I really am that confident, you know. Well, well you know. <laughs> now, Steve, when you get back on that bus, and if you have got the three points, you'll be going back to Newcastle. I just want to know, Richard asked how you will celebrate. Will he be going down the big market and celebrating with some of the Jordy lasses? Well, I done that last night, to be fair, buddy. Uh, it was a good night, that. But what what I'll do tonight, of course, is what I normally do: win, lose, or draw. Straight into town. Lovely doner kebab with chili sauce, sidey cheesy chips, onion rings, mozzarella sticks, and then I'll go home and have me tea. So it'll be a lovely, lovely evening. But absolutely brilliant. Well, you know. Well, you know. Steve, again, thanks for joining us so close to kick off. All the best uh, in this one lunchtime today. Thank you very much, boys. Love the show. Absolutely brilliant.
<laughs> Daniel Farley, it's fantastic to have him with us on Countdown to kick off. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel, Absolute Classics Throughout. Enjoying our YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.